G'day you meandering mob of munted magpies and welcome to the start of an all new Hitman series that I like to call Agent 47's Rags to Riches Crack Cocainus Extravaganza. You see, I've gone and bought this stupid game for the fourth time now and made an all new account where we will play through the entire World of Assassination trilogy starting as a freshly baked straight out of the oven level 1 ICA agent with nothing to his name but a couple of doodads that nobody cares about. And will then eventually by the end of the series have become the most powerful and resourceful super secret agent of death that the world has never seen. Because it's highly unlikely that anybody will ever live to tell the tale about what they have seen. And so this is where it all began. At the ICA training facility 1999, my first day on the job. It was bloody freezing that day and I was immediately grateful that I had more hair on me nuts than I did on me head. Knowing that I was late, I decided to sprint up the staircase and run straight into the foreboding looking spaceship <laughs> that lay in front of me. No, this isn't post commentary. I'm literally doing this as I remember. Record. Oh look, a thing on the edge of the thing. Oh, did I just jump off and die? Anyway, Diana then sat me down with the psychologist who gave the confirmation that I was an absolute f***ing lunatic and a tremendously large liability to the ICA. With this newfound knowledge, I was then offered a position in management and a tremendously large raise. Before heading out into the field though, I had to prove my worth by coming down to a fake ship where the bunch of people on it who for some reason agreed to be murdered. Wow, I'm looking shiny and must be really human out here. Look at that head, mate. Look at it. Beautiful. Anyway, as I said, we've got a great big fake ship here in the middle of a spaceship with a bunch of people that have agreed to die here today for a very generous sum of money. This guy's getting in the last session of Raid Shadow Legends <laughs> before he dies. You know what? You shut up. All these pop-ups are ruining the dopamine hit. <laughs> are you going to shoot or what, mate? Come here, dickhead. Now, looking around the ship, there's our target. All right, don't know why he's the target. Now, before we go to take him down, let's do a little bit of investigating, see if there's anything lying around that we can use to our advantage, like this brand new beautiful red M3 produced by none other than OBS. Anyway, it looks like we're meant to head up this staircase, but without a disguise, I feel a little bit naked. Excuse me, sir, but you're not on I my list. Oh, aren't I? All right, that's fine. Let me get on your list. Ah, and I feel like that change of clothes right there might be exactly what I need. You put on his clothes. <laughs> That's a first. No, it's not. No, it's not. Stop it, Diana. Nobody's buying that. And with that done, let's head further into the ship, probably through the loading bay. I don't suppose you feel like getting smashed in the mouth, do you? Body been compromised. Body hidden. Yeah, hey everybody, how you going? I'm the new guy. It's my first day on the job. A little unknown thing that a lot of people maybe don't realize is that they've snuck in more new faces into the NPCs over time. Look at that guy. New head. Great for whacking with a fire extinguisher. Body compromised. Hey, I think that guy's new too. Look, look at that. That's a new head. Now, it looks like our target is right up this staircase. This is going to be great. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the party. That's another new head. All right, all right, all right. Looks like the party's really kicking off in here. This is a great place to be. If you're a target. That is your target. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Wait, hold on a second. Are you trying to tell me that I cannot walk up these stairs? I am a mechanic of the law. Fine. Sorry, mate. I'm going to need this room nice and empty. What? Well, that's going to leave a mark. <laughs> Diana laughed. <laughs> She loved it. Now to just lure them in with the sound of a hefty wrench, something that no security guard can ever resist. Oh. Take another step. <coughs> you guys are idiots. That was a tad extreme. Nope. Nope, it wasn't. It was absolutely necessary. All right. Now that I'm no longer being searched for, let me head upstairs where I was trying to get in the first place. Now to hop through this window and bada bing, bada boom. Hello, baby. Ho oh, ho. You're looking at the Sapienza, my favorite place in the world. <laughs> Come on here, mate. Nice bedroom. <laughs> you should probably get some new bed sheets. I need help. Someone please help. Your target is down. Oh, is he? I didn't realize. So <laughs> I kept shooting him in the bum hole for no reason. You know what? This is this has actually been very sloppy. This has been very, very, you know, no. Turn off the lights. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, don't look at me. A few inches later. Hey, you going, mate? I'm a cabin crew. I'm a cook, actually. The hammer is what I use to stir the soup. Thank you for letting me up. Now, as we walk around, we can see some wine. All right. Oh, 
cough, Diana. Oh, look, it's the Raid Shadow Legends guy. <laughs> this is great. Wait a second. Did he just invite him into his office to play the World of Sapienza? <laughs> the World of Sapienza Assassination Trilogy? Oh, he's selling Sapienza to the cowboy. <laughs> what? We just cannot let this happen. I'm gonna have to slip on through with my fiber wire and fiber wire this guy directly into his filthy bedroom. Come on, mate. Get in the wardrobe. And now, look at me. Just slipping out completely undetected. From the training session, from day dot, I have been a tactical testicle. Let it be known and never forgotten. Anyway, time to flee the scene of the crime in my OBS M3. That's a bomb button. It just self-detonates the entire boat with everyone on it. <laughs> they all blow up. Such skills and reflexes. They could only be the result of previous training power like that with no moral restraint <laughs> no moral restraint <laughs> all right well it looks like it sent me back here again to do it once more but this time with a couple of cheeky cheeky toys to get the job done all right let's pick up these coins that's my payment for the job flash banger lock picker and boom boom banger banger boom boom oh yes and um everything you'd need for a kill everybody challenge <laughs> what the fuck I kid, I kid. I'm gonna do this like a professional, and I think I'll start by disguising myself as a cowboy. Hey, mate, I hear cowboys like money. Fetch. One minute, 37 seconds later. Yeehaw! <laughs> What a suit. What a hat. What a man. Here go, boys. I'm here for a party. Let me up the stairs. Now, we should have no problem getting up here. Look at that. Straight on up because I am a VIP. Very impressive penis. Now, <clears throat> let's talk. Mr. Norfolk, we meet at last. Yeah, we do. Great to meet you. Here we go. Just put it under your legs. So it'll be guaranteed to blow your socks off. <laughs> Run away. Actually, come to think about it, maybe if I snuck down into the basement, into this room. Ah, yes, I knew it was here. Good old Ratapooey. This would also be extremely on brand. Now to slip back into the kitchen and give the old chef a chef's kiss. <laughs> And to sprinkle a little bit of magic juice in the old cup of champers. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Delish. You want a drink? Actually, on second thoughts, no. You look like you had enough to drink, lady. All right, here we go. Drink it all up, you naughty man. You'll be right, mate. Come on, let's head to the toilet. We'll get it all out. Yeah, just through here. This is this is the crapper. Yep, there you go. Nice and clean. <laughs> This is the part where I say, drink it all up, you naughty man. That's right, you drink up that toilet bowl. Every last drop I want to see gone. Drink, drink, drink. Gulp, gulp. Oh, I drank it all. I don't know what the black stuff is. Anyway, before we leave once and for all, I feel like the old crowbar to the escape raft dropping on the head trick is in order. Hold on, wait for it. This is about right. Here we go. And... Yep, that's cool. I think my work here might be done. Oh, wait, hold on. I can escape on this helicopter. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> helicopter noises. <laughs> you have completed freeform training module. Proceed to the final test. All right. Then here we are in 1979 Cuba. Approximation Aeropuerto. Prohibido el paso sin autorización. That means f off. Anyway, according to my mission story, there's a jet that's going to be tested by the target that, speaking of which, there he is right there, that I can sabotage, resulting in his death. Oh, look, a bunch of coins in a ma bush. That's handy. Hey, mate, here's a dollar. Then here's a hammer. Oh, look at this. Look at this. My, my uniform is called Tactical Turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the tactical testicle costume? That's the one I need. Anyway, now that I'm one of the staff, I should be able to just walk around completely unhindered. Oh, hold on. What the hell, mate? That's fine. Everything's fine. We'll just sneak around the back and run straight into this door, which I believe leads us directly beneath our target. Look at that. Contemplating whether or not to drink the contents of the toilet bowl. Well, with this, he's probably not going to have much of a say in the matter. Also, it looks like this is the aeroplane that we can sabotage. But first, I'm going to head into Zona de Recreo and see if I can... Oh, there's that vodka. Yeah, mate. That's what we need. All right, that guy's turning around. Let's slip in here and get this vodi. Yeah, mate. In the meantime, however, while nobody is looking... <clears throat> Ratapooey time, baby! I have no idea who's going to drink that. <laughs> Some poor bastard. Oh, this guy is all right. Well, that's, that's unfortunate. Sorry, mate. The good news is that everything will be over quickly. 
And now with this outfit, I am free to sabotage the aeroplane. Enable ejection seat. All right, let me do that. Do, 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 fixing the plane. Hello, my good man. The ejection seat is ready to be tested. Yeah, just up that ladder there. Be careful. You don't want to bump your head or anything. You know, safety first, mate. Now sit in there and this is going to be great. Promise. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look, there's no way you can tell me that this guy survived that. You know, this is a very... This is a very sketchy company to be working for. Isn't this meant to be training? <laughs> and now it's time to escape in my classic bins. Congratulations, agent. You are cleared for field Wait, duty. hold on a second. Who the hell are you? Where's Diana? Anyway, before we move in, we may as well rack up some more points. So let's grab the old vodka one more time, comrade. Hey, buddy, you can drink whichever one you want. They're both delicious. Don't bother me. Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> That's a massive glass of vodka, mate. You're, <laughs> you're a seasoned vet. Oh, it's funny. I don't feel all that well, actually. Yeah, I wonder why. Jeez. I don't know. See you later, 1979 Cuba. It's been real. Real freaking Aproximación Aeropuerto. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video where we get down and dirty in Paris, France. Oh, <laughs> naughty boy. G'day, you cheeky pack of uber oompa loompas and welcome back to Agent 47's Rags to Riches story. And as you can see here, we're still only level eight, meaning we're a freshly recruited ICA assassin new on the job. We're with a very, very limited arsenal of weapons available to us and even less tools, distractions and explosives. Which is why today we're heading to Paris, France. Because with zero completion and absolutely none of the challenges already done, the possibilities for mastery are endless. Now obviously this mission takes place at 7.47 at a fashion parade thingy in some castle where we're going to take down a man by the name of Viktor Novikov from Resident evil and diarrhea mondolus what they've actually done nobody knows but apparently it involves multiple paper bags filled with dog feces and a lighter and then they flew it across the world and blew it up in midair and the poo went everywhere then here we are in beautiful paris france yes this is the first time we've been here at least this playthrough let's act like we don't know what's going on hey look at me <laughs> at least i came dressed for the occasion today g'day boys i've got an invitation and I am here to stir things up. All right, hold on a second. Let me just get in on this interview. I can't help myself every time. Hey, hey, mate. Hey, to everyone back at home, I'd just like to say I have a massive... What the hell is wrong with you? Go away! What, me? Nothing. What the hell? Why are you so rude? Anyway, we're probably going to want to choose some mission stories to roll with, so I think I'm going to go with this. This is a spicy one. Guest of honor. Let's do this. Now, for the first time in any of my videos ever, you'll notice next to the map, I've actually got the silent assassin indicator on. So, you know, enjoy that while it's there because <laughs> it's going to disappear pretty soon, I'm sure. Hey, 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 look at that. There's one of our targets, Victor Novikov, coming down the stairs fresh from Resident Evil, whatever. <laughs> And now let's head over to the floating light bulb in the sky. Ah, but a securite blocks the way. Hmm, okay. What am I going to do about this chappy? Maybe I could go full tactical testicle and hoppa over the fence. Look at that. Stealth assassin. Get it up ya. And now I'm going to zip over here while that security guard goes that way. And uh, what have we got here, baby? Oh, Yago VIP invitation list. Ah, there we go. Shake Salmon. Sa Mr. Salmon, yep. According to the room plan, yes. the infamous Sheikh Salman Al Ghazali resides in Sweet 2. Sweet 2. All right, Diana, that's all you need to tell me. That looks like it right there. How am I gonna get up there? You've got a drain pipe for me to climb up? Now, I don't know why I'm even trying to maintain this stealth, uh, stealth, 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 mate. Stealth, S-T-E-A, elf. <laughs> what? But if I were to hop over this fancy fence right here, I've got a pretty good feeling that I might find something on the other side. Boo boo, there we go. Hello. Pole dancer man, pole dancer man. Climbs a pole like no other man can.
Oh, man. Anyway, let's hippity hop over here. You know, this is probably the least efficient way of getting to the other side of the building, but here we are. Actually, maybe I can go through this door. This is, oh, this is a good room, this one. This is the, the, um, the storage room, and there's a guard in here too. Just gotta watch out for this guy. Yes, I'll steal everything here while I've got the opportunity. Oh, even the fire extinguisher. Give me that too, mate. Now to sneak past this guy while he's busy looking at the ginormous... You're not allowed here. Oh. Freeze now! Sorry, let's let's go. Oh, hold on. Wait, what? No, I'm still stealth assassin. You're escorting me out, mate. What is this crap? Mission story for... <laughs> well, this is your fault. <laughs> All right, so clearly I do not have the time available to stuff around as much as I was. Let me get upstairs quickly before the mission story fails again. Maybe if I slip past this security camera... Oh, what? Two guards there as well. This is not good. Let me hop in this box and allow me to wait a moment for these guys to pass. Okay, beautiful. Now let's get out. Yeah, buddy. Hold on, let me unlock. I knew this lockpick would come in handy. It looks like we have made it to where we need to get to. There's old Sheiky boy. Now, um, is this, isn't this his toilet from memory? Yeah, it is. Now let me just play the old radio. <laughs> Oh, my favorite song, mate. Oh, this is a banger. I don't know why the guy on the other side of the building heard it, though, and Sheiky Boy didn't. That's stupid. Apparently, I've lost my stealth assassin, so, you know, that's really good. Your fault, idiot. Here he comes. There we go. Coming to turn off the old radio. Let's close the door. Oh, crap. No. Get out, you idiot. Stupid dickhead. Get out. You need to die, appliance. Hold on a second. Did you just crack out an American accent, mate? <laughs> This is Paris. Give me your clothes. Now, according to my mission story objective, I need to enter the Iago auction as Sheik Al Ghazali Al Salmon. And so let's do that. You know, I always say it's amazing what a nice red hat will allow you to do. Let's see if we can go up here. How you going, boys? Here for the auction? Yeah, all good. All right. Nice. Your Highness. Oh, yeah, I'm high. All right, mate. I'll tell you that much. Then here we are. Yes, yeah, so the place for the suspicious looking rich people to be suspicious and rich. There's diarrhea. Mondolis' bodyguard. All right, here we go. Hello, diary. How you going, mate? So instead, let me slip through here and join this massive erection. Yes, I keep a ginormous iPad in my coat pocket. All right, hold on. I got a bit on an item as Shake Al Salmon. Three bucks on an antique banana. Then now, apparently, I go to collect it. So let's go into the back room. Hello, Diary Mondolis. I'm here to collect the banana. What do you got on your laptop? You got a Raid Shadow Legends, the mobile game taking the world by storm? Where are we going, Diary? This is very, very suspicious. I don't feel comfortable about this. Where are you taking me? Back? Oh, no, I don't want to buy anything else, you idiot. I'm here for the banana. Where is it? Where's the bloody banana. You got all sorts of crap here. No bananas. You go stand right there. That's a good place to stand. I like it. Now, let me just do this. And... Oh, no. Terrible accident happened. You guys gonna invest it? No? No, you probably... You probably no, it's fine. Alrighty. Now, we've still got Victor Novikov. Where's he hanging out right now? There he is. Hello, old dicko. Now, I don't really know how I want to take this guy down, but I do like options. And I really like the way that this costume allows me to do literally anything, like steal the fireworks detonator from directly under the techie guy's nose. <laughs> and nobody cares. Excuse me. Can you give me a minute? No. Could you give me a minute? That's the real question here. Sir, I can't let you through here. Hold on a second. I was just in there. What are you talking about? I was literally, and now I'm trespassing apparently. Well, that's ridiculous. You know, these people give me no choice. Let me just detonate the fireworks. All right. Now, where are you going, Victor? Let's go watch these fireworks together. Do, 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 do. Going with Victor Novikov to watch the fireworks outside. Where are you going, mate? You fucking idiot. All right, well, he's fuming at the fireworks being early. I guess I'm going to try and make my way over to this thing, which I probably should have done before, but I didn't do because I'm an idiot. Then I'll use me little lockpick to get through this gate, and hopefully I've left myself enough time to climb to the top of this barge. Come on, Mr. Salmon. Time is of the essence. All right. We made it. We don't have a sniper rifle, but we do have a pistol, and I happen to be a reasonable shot, so... All right, here we go. Hold on. Let me zoom it in. No, don't move. There we go. Look at that. Who did that? That wasn't me. <laughs> now, I could leave on that helicopter, but that would be boring. I'm gonna go make a drink. All right, apparently, Victor Novikov, his favorite drinks are... Cowboy, so... 
Then now I must head over here to find the recipe in the basement. And this looks like it. Now the secret ingredient to this drink is obviously rat poison. But actually, I have an even better idea. I've got poison poison in me pocket. But first, let me mix up this cowboy. Just mix it all up in there. Shake it all up like a good bar man. I could do rat poison or I could do poison. Let's go poison poison. That's more exciting. Hey, Victor. Yeah, just drink it up, mate. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Hi. Ah, all right, here we go. Smashing it down. Let's... Oh, and let me mix up another drink and act like <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. I'm just mixing a drink over here, everybody. Who's next? All right, fine. This time around, let me plop some old ratapooey in there and then I'll escape to the nearest toilet and wait patiently. One wiener later. Oh, there we go. He drank it. Look at that. He's not feeling very well. I think he might be coming to the old toilet to get out the evil. Oh, hey, Goku's here. That's sick. Hey, Goku. How you going, mate? Now, is he going to come in here? Yeah, it looks like he is. Here we go. This is... Why are you in here, mate? Get out of the toilet, you freak. All right, Victor, just you and me, mate. Here we go. Time to drink the entire thing in the old... in the dingus get it up yeah there we go oh mate he's smashing that he needed that hydration he was just dehydrated that was the problem oh no hold on i think he may be overhydrated now oh there's a lot of gold on this guy hey mate you can go home for the day or forever and as for me well i guess i get an early mark too see you later paris it's been real real freaking <laughs> not a boy thanks for watching and i'll see you next time as we go to the happiest bestest most wonderfulest place on the whole universe sapienza italy oh baby silvio caruso and francesca DeSantis have got some action coming for them. G'day you dodgy drum of dingoes and welcome back to Hitman 3. Now today we're going to be continuing our foray into the Agent 47 Rags to Riches story as we head to Sapienza Italy as a level 13 newbie assassin. Again this means that we have practically nothing to our name whatsoever and that the delicious smorgasbord of potential challenges are ripe for the plucking from the from the pl plucking place. On this mission, however, I'll be taking my ICA-19 Red Trinity, my lockpick, three coins, and I'll be smuggling in the concrete sniper rifle. Now, without further ado, let me welcome you one and all to Sapienza, Italy, the most beautiful place on earth. And here I am, dressed as a Greek in Italy. Oh, hold on a second. That gives me an idea. Look, that's the guy. The psychiatrist guy. I'm just going to stand behind this guy like a completely normal person. I'll have young Silvio calm and serene in no time. I'll have you calm and serene in no time, big boy. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, the psychiatrist guy is... Isn't he here? So I thought he was here. He's not here. Hello. Hi. How are you? You got lovely hair. A little bit jealous. What? All right, so let's start this again, making sure that this time I don't lose the other very, very handsome bald man. I love bald men. You love bald men? I, I love bald men. Where are we going with this? <laughs> what am I even talking about? Oh, look, a dude just waiting to be pushed off of the... We shouldn't do this, but relax. He's fine. Goodness, with that overreaction, I think I was in America or something. Okay, really, I'm going to do things properly this time. Properly. <laughs> Punched him in the dick. All right, no, really, for real, I'm playing seriously now. So, like, there are so many different ways that we can do this mission. And again, because this is a new playthrough, none of them have been completed yet. So it's just like, hey, bro, nice hair. Is that a natural color? Or did you just... Oh, look at that. Look at the statue with the... I wonder if I can... Oh, I nearly gave her a dollar. <laughs> All right, so as I was saying before, there are so many different ways to take down the targets and none of them have been done. Oh, money. Give me that money. That's a big cannoli. That's a huge cannoli. Anyway, that's the church tower. And apparently you can actually shoot Sylvia Caruso from there with a the sniper rifle down the observatory telescope thingy over there, which I've never done. So let's do it. Now, if I want to climb up this pole, you're going to have to do it when nobody's looking like you, mate. Get inside. Smoking kills. Let's just hope that this guy has very poor peripheral vision, which apparently he does. It's all good. Here we go. Now we'll scale our way across here, jump through the window, and here we are. And obviously, I'm a complete moron because I forgot to bring my sniper rifle from the ICA um, apartment. So, you know, 
Heal me now. It's fine though, everything's fine. Let's toss a coin in the fountain for good luck. Look at that, I even got a challenge for it. Then I'll head into building number three and pay a visit to my beautiful Italian apartment. Let me just ring the doorbell first to make sure I'm not home before I let myself in. Nope, I'm not home, that's good. Now I'll take my sniper rifle and you know, I'll take this stuff too. Yeah, I'm an absolute psycho, sleep in this filthy beanbag. Beanbag? That's not a beanbag. But they are drugs. So are they. So why have I got so many drugs? What's going on here? Is there some kind of backstory here that, that, <laughs> that we don't know about? Agent 47 just has this wild addiction to like multivitamins. So let's sneak our way up here and make our way through this door. Not exactly sure where it goes. Hopefully nobody's looking. Nope, nobody saw that. And now I'm going to very stealthily, like the true tactical testicle that I am, make my way to the top. Oh no, don't want to be in here. That's fine. You know what? I'm going to sneak my way through here. I'm gonna steal your knife. No cutting the cake for you, bitch. There. Oh, then, as we finally make our way to the top, there it is. The observatory, Matori. This is going to be just dandy. Let me take my rifle, hide behind this wall. Very, very tactically testicle. And I believe that will cause the dome to open. Hmm, yes. Nicey, nicey. Very spicy. Now, again, I've never done this, but I've heard great things. And if everything goes according to plan, old mate should make his way up to the observatory to have a look through it to see what it looks like in outer space. Also, it looks like I might have a clean shot to, uh... Francesca da Santis through here. Hold on, just step back a little bit. Just a little bit more might. Come on, step back just a tiny bit. Look at that. Bloody hell, Gordon Ramsay. I was not expecting that. That was smooth. Oh, wait, hold on a second. That's the church tower. I'm in the wrong place. Oh, I'm an absolute moron. I am the dumbest human being. I am. I am literal garbage. Wow. Yeah, all right, here we go again. Obviously, this is a church, so I'm going to do my best to behave myself. No shit shenanigans. Now, let's just wait for old mate to slip through there. And then when no one's looking, I'm going to slip through to end. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My bad. This guy, he's being a total dick. Hey, hey, I need your help. Found this jerk off snooping around where he wasn't supposed to What? Be. Bro, you're in a church, mate. <laughs> what a psycho. What is even happening here? This is weird. All right, now, this is probably the tower I'm meant to get to the top of, I think. I mean, no promises. I never have any idea what I'm doing. Oh, you hear that? Listen, listen. That's the sound of pigeons. Everybody knows where there are pigeons. There is pigeon poo poo. Except here, there's no pigeon poo poo. So this is obviously very unrealistic. Anyway, let me crack out the old sniper rifle from the correct location this time and pop the old fuse box. Alrighty, where's old mate? Oh wow, look over there. There's a dude there. I could just boom, shoot him from here. Clean. Shoot the mustache right off his face. Oh, hold on. It's working. It's working. There he is. He's in there and he's going up to have a look. This is going to be great. Now, again, I haven't done it, but apparently you see a big eyeball in the scope. So this is going to be cool if it, if it happens how it's meant to happen. Oh, look at that. <laughs> How have I never done that before? That's amazing. That was very um, sniper elite, wasn't it? Good stuff. And then, you know, I could just go like that and then take down the other target who was just doing a poo. So here we are back again with this guy. We're going to do it properly this time, you know, until I get distracted by something else. Hey, buddy boy, I'm going to need your... Oh, hold on a sec. Wait, wait. There's a lady here. There's a lady. Now, if I'm going to pull this off, I'm going to require a waiter's outfit. Sorry, ice cream man, but you've got to go. I'm sure he'll be fine in that Sub-Zero icebox where nobody will find him for a very, very, very long time. At least he won't go rotten. Then I'll use these cheeky coins to lure old mate down into the basement. And we're good to go. No, he really though. Now I'll take his outfit and I am a waiter. Look at me. Very, very not sus. The problem, however, is that I do not have any ratapui. Where am I going to get that from? Surely we've got some over here in the kitchen. And we go, oh, there we go. This is, you know, never, never fail to find rat poison in the kitchen. Thank you. Then now to deliver the special order to the VIP. Here you go, mate. Let me just sprinkle this in there for you. Going to make it extra tasty. Then I'll blend in as a waiter. Definitely not sus. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm in a lot of pain, actually. That's really? Oh, that's inconvenient. Is it? Oh, all right. Well, that's one word for it. Now all we do is wait. There he goes. And of course, here I go. And nobody thinks this is sus. Fair enough. <clears throat> oh. 
Hey, mate, you heard uh, how important hydration is? Well, you better stay hydrated. Drink up all that bowl water. Oh, no, he drank it all. Buongiorno. I am here for the Silvio. Oh, hold on a second. I can't come in with a gun. What is this, discrimination or something? Yes, I'll just stuff it in the rubbish bin. And instead, I will rock up with a ginormous kitchen knife. All right, boys, here I am back again. Have a frisk. Thanks, back to please proceed. Right yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Here I am just running around with a ginormous chopping knife in my hand. Nothing sus about this at all. Hello, everybody. I'm a doctor. What's up, doc? I have an appointment with Mr. Caruso. And a very big knife. Senor Caruso has been informed of your arrival. Please, follow me. Oh, can I ride this up? This looks like fun. <laughs> Look at that. It's a roller coaster. I only hope Oh, I'm very good. I'm very, very... Look at that. Look at that. Look what I did. Nobody even saw me do it. I'm good. Silvio. Oh, Silvio. Where are you? Is this the room? This is... Is this it? Is this where we're doing the meeting? Yeah, here it is. Okay, cool. This is the room. Now, let me just sit down and we'll get ready to do medicine. Hey, brah. Come on, lie down on the couch. We're gonna make everything all right. Shall we begin? If you insist. Oh, hold on. I can't... I can't do... <laughs> I can't interact with him while he's in the process of laying down. Fine. Hey. Well, that was awkward. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Silvio, what are you doing? Relax. Start by telling me what's on your mind. Yeah, what's on your mind? Is it a pillow? Oh, hey, look at this. There's a security key card on the floor. That's great. That's what we wanted. And if I very tactically, testically sneak out here, nobody wonders what's going on in there. Why Silvio's still in there and why I'm out here. It's fine. Everything's fine. Then uh, it seems like she has the old cigarette down here. So there's a vent. That's so that'll be good. Allow me to just sprint my way upstairs nice and quick. Slip through here and all right. Um, where's the, all right, she's down there having a chat. Where's the propane? Here it is. And I think which is the where is it is it it's this one isn't it yeah all right we've got to get her over here but all right here we go hold on hold on it's gonna, this is gonna be perfect wait for it wait for it wait for it no idiot where are you going oh you stupid idiot all right you know i'm just gonna give it a crack and see if it works i don't know if it will but let's see do that like kill everyone in the room or just those two? Oh. Well, that was unfortunate. Maybe if you come over here to see how these guys are going, you know, I'll be able to blow you up too. All right, here we go. Hold on. Here we, here we go. Here we go. Stuff it in. Go. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Why, hello, gentlemen. I am a psycholus psycho. Now to destroy that virus Rambo style. All right, we're nearly in. Come on, pop open the doors. Don't worry about the fact that it's, you know, that it's dangerous. We'll just, just shoot it. That fixes everything. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Somehow I managed to get the worst score in the world. <laughs> Even worse than the worst score in the world. I'm one position worse than the worst in the world. That's pretty great. G'day, you snazzy soup bowl of slippery shrimps, and welcome back to Hitman 3. Now, today we're headed to Marrakesh for Agent 47's fourth day on the job as a fresh out of the oven ICA newbie recruit. With almost no equipment options to choose from and every challenge not yet done and ripe for the taking, what kind of mischief is he going to get himself into today? Well, keep watching to find out. As for our targets, we'll be taking down Mr. Reza Zaydan and Klaus Hugo Handbag. As for my starting location, I've only got this one available and I'll be taking Taking my ICA-19 Red Trinity, a couple of cheeky coins as a distraction, my handy-dandy lockpick, and my pale duck just in case things go south. Finally, I will be going to Marrakesh dressed like an absolute psychopath. And here we are, baby. Boy, oh boy, it's good to be back in Morocco. As you can see, it's a very nice place, the perfect location for international tourists to come and have a vacation. Absolutely nothing to worry about whatsoever. It's fine. Everything's fine. At least until I got here. Anyway, like I said, we've got a couple of targets to take down here. But first, I thought, oh, look, Sapienza, Italy. It's not just popular in my opinion. It's also the rest of the world's favorite city, too. Ah, but first, I think I'll buy myself some new Razer headphones. I think the red ones will go great. F piss off, mate. Oh, no, I just choked a man. Oh, <laughs> that was an accident. Sorry. Just habit. Reflexes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> Sapienza is everywhere, literally. This just makes me want to play Sapienza again. What are we doing here, Johnny? Nope. <laughs> I guess that you've heard about me. There is no escape. Oh, wrong guy. Wrong, <laughs> wrong guy. <laughs> it was meant to be you. Come back here. Where do you think you're going, you son of a gun? 
Anyway, I feel like we should probably get out of here before we get into any more trouble. And congratulations, everybody. We made it outside of the first, you know, 10 meters of the map. Good job. Now we just got to get through all this. Oh, look, it's this guy. How you going, mate? What you got there? Some money? Give me some money. All right, fine. I'll give you some money. Here we go. There you go. Right on the plate. Wow, you you are my hero. Thank you. I'm, uh, I am eternally in debt to you. You're welcome, but you can't keep it. Sorry. Yeah, all right, so if you don't know, this guy is the intern. His outfit actually unlocks one of the mission stories. Not that I'd know as a newbie recruit ICA assassin. Just uh, a hunch I've got. Oh, yeah, by the way, did you know that the Krakokitas in Marrakesh comes in all different colors and flavors? Look at this. They've even got red to go with me suit. Now, yeah, we do have a couple of mission stories available to us, but the ones that I'm thinking of hitting on today is the Golden Touch, which also comes with the good old unhappy ending. <laughs> and the other challenge I'd like to hit on today is the bathroom break, where we're going to assassinate a target by dropping a toilet on his head. Yes, I know, a very sh** way to die. So, let's get this party started. Hey, look at this guy's head. That's a new head. How you going, mate? You got the Botox in the eyes. Love it. Oh, yeah, and if you don't already know, this telephone over here serves as an assassination device. See? Short circuit. Mmm, yummy. We also have the option of poisoning the snails over here as though they weren't already poisoned to begin with. Snail soup! Snail soup! Soft and warm and well cooked. Yuck, bro, what is wrong with you? Anyway, before we get this party started, let's head down here and grab ourselves the little doodah, the doll. Oh, look, pale duck, thank you very much, Diana. I think I'll take the briefcase too, just in case I need a distraction. And it looks like the fortune teller is currently not even set up. This is very, very sad. Mate, what are you doing in here? This is a private area. Hello, sir, I have a tie for you. Oh. Got all kinds of wonderful motives. Oh, wow. Even those bold ladies that you Americans like so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very hush-hush. Okay. okay, all right. No. Where is it? Bro, this is getting weird. You told me you had a tie no, for don't me. Don't be shy. If you want it, I can get I it. I mean, I want it. I told you I want it. Give it to me now. I have a feeling you're playing me, bro. Okay, okay, no birds. How do you feel about a reptile? Got one of those big, nasty what? killer snakes. What? A reptile? Hold on, desert. mate. You just told me you had a tie for me. What's going on here? This is just getting... <laughs> this is... You know what? I don't have time for this. Fortunately, nobody even saw that happen. So there you go. Get in the box, you weirdo. And now, look at this. Turn into a Star Wars character. <laughs> <laughs> the force is strong with this one, mate. Yeah, all right, so let's not waste any more time. It seems like what we're looking for is over there beneath the floating green light bulb. Hello, gentlemen. I, trespassing. Please turn around, sir. I am here for the unhappy ending. Excuse me. Don't make me ask you again. Fine, fine. I'll take the happy ending <laughs> instead. <laughs> hey, bro, what's going on up here? I think you're a little bit too loud. Can you turn it down? <laughs> Oh, man. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, which it almost always doesn't, I'm pretty sure I can sneak in through here. G'day, gentlemen. Excuse me. I'm just looking for my sand crawler. Now to hop over this fence and butter be... Oh, that guy is not particularly observant. But I feel like maybe, just maybe, if I am a true tactical testicle, which I know I am, I can sneak through here, around here, do all of the sneaky stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Straight past the consulate. Then I'll slip around here, go around this guy, slip into this door, and change of clothes. Yeah, mate. Swiggity swooty, reporting for duty. Then, now that I am no longer suspicious, I will just walk directly through the front doors of the General Sweden of Consulate. Valkommen. It is me. How are you? Sir, we were in the middle of a diplomatic crisis. Oh, really? I'm in the middle of a midlife crisis. <laughs> Funny, that, isn't it? That is Connie Engstrom. Oh, hold on, listen, listen. Con Condom Enstrom is wanted at the reception desk. That's the massage guy. Let's find him. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, he's in the bathroom now doing a poopy. He's in the conference room on the phone with his boss trying to squeeze out of an appointment with Strandberg. All right, he's in the conference room. Where is the conference room? I wonder if it's in here. Hello, is this the conference room? Um, listen, I don't know what's the matter, but you look like you shouldn't be driving. I'm just going to steal your car keys. Thank you. Well, I haven't checked this room yet. Maybe this is the con- No, this definitely isn't the conference room, but there are a whole bunch of kitchen knives in here that I just can't wait to stuff in my pants. And then through here, oh, <laughs> a meat clean. TV. I'll stuff that in there too. And another knife. Thank my lucky stars. My pants are a very dangerous place to be right now. Must not trip over. <laughs> Must not trip over. <laughs> Agent 47 taking circumcision to whole other levels since 2024. You. Who are you? Oh, f***. <laughs> He's fine. He's just having a nap. The guy's been working hard. Relax. 
If I just drop all these sharp objects on the floor, then maybe it'll look like an accident. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm convinced. Yeah, this is bullshit. There's nothing going on out here. <laughs> Hold on, what? <laughs> what the hell, bro? Are you kidding me? Nothing going on out here. What the what? Nothing indeed. Oh, no. All right, this is Escalate. Oh, <laughs> all right, mate. Settle down. Oh, no. Another one. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Go away. Okay, so this this is just... This is going to be hard to explain. Actually, you know what? Maybe. Here, we just put everyone over here next to the stove, and then the stove just accidentally explodes. And I think we might actually have ourselves a relatively believable situation. A little... Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Anyway, given the unavoidable number of deaths that have occurred in Marrakesh today, I feel like I should probably head into the security office and do something about the security machine. Where is it? Mate, this is a weird security office. You don't even have the security camera machine in here. Well, I think this is the last room that I haven't checked yet. Maybe Condom Enstrom is... Here he is. What are you doing in here, Condom? Anyway, now that old Connie's stuffed in the wardrobe, let me take his clothes and wah wah wee wah, I do not look anything like my name tag. But it's fine, everything's fine. Let's go get this unhappy ending out of the way, shall we? Yeah, g'day, how you going? I'm here for the old massage. Oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. All right. Is it okay if I take my knife? It's my favorite knife. I take it everywhere with me. I also quite like me meat cleaver. Is that okay? I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. Thank you for being understanding. All right. Well, that's where we're going. And I guess... Oh, oh he's already in there waiting for me. Look, this guy is an eager beaver. Hey, everybody. I'm here for the deep tissue massage. Oh, mate, you're asking for it. That is an offer that nobody can refuse. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Hey, everybody. I'm back. All right. Just put your head down on that pillow there. All right. Good man. Don't worry about this. <laughs> this big old meat cleaver is fine. Target down. Next up, Razor Zaydan. Well, here I am standing outside the public toilet. Don't worry. It will all make sense soon. I'm trying to line up a joke. Ah. Come. I will show you your destiny. It's not far. <laughs> Anyway, so my last remaining target, he appears to be all the way over there in the abandoned high school. To get in there, though, I'm going to need an outfit like this. I didn't do that, bro. What the hell? Stop it. Stop. And here we finally are. How you going, gentlemen? Everyone doing well? Doing the old push-ups? Good to see. So the room I'm looking for is this one right here. And it just so happens that me target is right there. Didn't even notice me. Stupid idiot. Now, if I can get him downstairs, then I can plop this on his head and end his miserable life with a filthy old toilet. To do that, though, I'm going to need to play with the radio system thingy. So <clears throat> let me head downstairs and do that. All right, here we go. Turn on school intercom. Let's do this. That okay. Oh, oh they found <laughs> they found my shenanigans. Good thing I'm not there anymore. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now their conversation is being broadcasted on the intercom and everybody can hear it. Uh-oh, somebody's in trouble. Now, as soon as he starts to head down here, I'm gonna slip upstairs. Here we go. A little bit closer and <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what those guys are thinking. Well, it looks like my work here is done. Out the window I go, and it's time to make our way to freedom. Wow, look at this ride. I'm going to look good driving out of here in this bad boy. See you later, everybody. It's been real. Real freaking tactically testicle. Wow, worst score in the entire world. <laughs> I'll take it. G'day, you balmy barrel of bogans, and welcome back to Hitman 3. Now, today we're rejoining ICA Golden Boy Agent 47 for his fifth day on the job as we head to the city with the largest number of reported pink injuries in the world, Bangkok, Thailand. Our targets are this idiot right here wanted for pushing his mum off the balcony and this bloke for being a massive chode. Also, like the other videos in this series, we have a very limited selection of equipment at our disposal, but with absolutely none of these scrumptious challenges completed as of yet, Yet, the possibilities are endless. I'll be taking my ICA-19 Red Trinity, my handy-dandy lockpick, three cheeky coins to serve as a distraction, and I've asked Diana to smuggle in my pale duck just in case things go south. As for my outfit, I'll be going dressed as the weekend without hair, and I'll be turning up at the Riverside Landing because none of the other areas are yet unlocked. Nevertheless, if there is a man to get this job done, that man is me. Good morning, ladies. It's great to be here. Where is my greeting. 
excuse me, I'm waiting for the greeting. Listen, I was told I was gonna get the greeting on arrival. Where is my greeting? I want my greeting, damn it. All right, maybe you'll give me a greeting. Come to the Himipan. Please let me know if there is anything I can do for you. Well, I wouldn't mind a greeting where you put the hands together, you know, like the, the, that one. Nope. Well, you're not gonna give me one either? I want my gr No one saw that. Nobody saw that. Really? Is that- is really? Oh, okay, well, <laughs> fair enough. Oh, but somebody saw that. What the hell are you doing? Nothing. You know what? This is silly. I came here for a vacation. Oh, there we- there's the greeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Well, now my holiday can finally- Where's my greeting? <laughs> That was so quick. I <laughs> just socked that guy in the chin. Anyway, it's great to be- Oh, look, another greeting. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. They're always so friendly to me every time I come here. Until I start getting a little bit too comfortable. Ah, oh, the greeting. I love it. I love it. It's great to be here. So polite here every time. So polite. I love coming here. So polite. Hello? Where's my greeting? What are you guys talking about? I wonder about are those- Orange-clad monk? Oh, yeah, yeah, I wonder about that, too. Uh, sir, uh, I don't mean to be disrespectful. Well, then don't be. Oh, yeah. Where's my greeting? All right, so apparently, uh, second floor 205, all right? That's my room, so let's head up to the second floor. Remember, we are a new ICA agent assassin recruit who has never, ever been to Bangkok, Thailand before. So all of this is new. Nope, never been here. Give me my greeting. Thank you. Have a great day. Better swipe myself in and hello room. Wow, isn't it beautiful? You know, this place isn't cheap. It's the fruit and the condoms. They make them quite thick around here. Anyway, inside of the bedroom here, I believe Diana's cheeky little something something. Yep, pale duck. Thank you. I'll stuff that in my pocket and I'll take my briefcase in case I need it. And I will very casually head into the bathroom momentarily to make sure that the sinks work before heading out on my mission. Now, I don't know about you, but I like my shoes and socks nice and squishy. And if you're wondering why I'm still carrying this briefcase... <laughs> yeah. I'm a massive tight ass, baby. Ooh, bathrobes. Anyway, there are a bunch of mission stories that we can run with today. And there are a couple of challenges here, like uh, this one right here that's just hilarious. Look, ma. <laughs> no, Ed. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. But for some reason, I feel like the most poetic option is to drown out target in his birthday cake. Doesn't that sound <laughs> fun? There's also this one that I'm curious about. I don't know what this is. You know what? Let's just follow the green light bulb and see where it leads us. There goes my next ex-husband. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Actually, hold on. No, I'm not into women that walk around with no shoes. That's just yuck. Hey, yo, mate. Where's my greeting? Oh, please don't. We've gotten so far. Don't ruin hey, it for you me. Up in my face, mister. Hey, <laughs> all right. So, man, machine. What's this all about? Let's listen. We're in the middle of a discussion. Oh, sorry, here. guys. Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't be here. Hey, let me just slip over here. All right. I'm not here anymore. Please get the hell out of here. You deserve it. Poop in a bag. <laughs> poop in a bag sounds pretty good. Well, speak of the devil, here he is now. Dressed like he's just come straight out of Hillsong. You know, I'm curious. I just want to see what I'll look like with that outfit on. Let me just put it on. Wow, look at me. <laughs> I'm spicy, mate. Anyway, now that I've satisfied my curiosity, I'm going to go back to what I intended to do from the get-go and find this chap's birthday cake. Greetings. Greetings to you too. Thank you. You're always so polite. That's why you're still conscious. <laughs> now, as I sneak out onto the roof, it's important that I remain tactically testicle so as to not get spotted by this gardener or by the guards over there. Fortunately, it looks like the man I'm looking for is on the other side of those shutters, so I'm going to jump through this window and get down to business. All I need is a little distraction right here like this, and hopefully he'll come over here to check it out. Beautiful. Now everyone else will turn away. I'll drag this guy over here for a nice succulent high massage. Now with that out of the way, all it takes is a, <laughs> is a little party hat and some star glasses and nobody knows that I'm not that guy. Look, even his best mates don't recognize. They don't call me the master of disguise for nothing, baby. Oh, hold on. Mission story lost. I think I may have jumped the gun ever so slightly. I believe that maybe I need to wait long enough to hear this conversation. Can you get one of the kitchen staff to bring it up here? Uh, it's just a pair of numbers, right? 
27. All right, that's all we needed. Well, to get into the kitchen, I feel like the staff door might be the ticket. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this has got us into the manager's office. Well, even better. Hey, welcome to the manager's office. I'm the manager. I heard you want a deep tissue tie massage. <laughs> now to borrow his outfit and look at that. I am chef. Unfortunately, however, it seems like this gentleman and that one over there know that I am not who I say I am. So in order to get this little uh, number thingy, I'm going to have to wait till this guy pisses off. There we go. He's pissing off and the other guy's turning around and here I am like a slippery sausage stealing the number and disappearing into the night, even though it's day. And now I think I may just be able to UFC this guy without failing the mission story. Or maybe I just got to sneak over here and stuff. Actually, hold on a second. Can't I pack? that cake with explosives. All right, where's me duck poison? I thought I could put me ducky in there. Well, that's a bit crap. Now, as I see it, drowning this guy in his birthday cake is going to be a tricky task considering the room's full of people. You know what? I've actually got a really good idea. I am just going to plop that right there in the middle. Nobody's going to <laughs> pay any attention to it. Matter of fact, old mate's going to spark up a durry right next to it. It's fine. Everything's fine. And just like that, here he is. Man of the moment. Wow. Happy birthday, Dickhead. So we're going to go like this and then, oh, oh crap. Hold on. Wait, move it. Get up, Jordan. Get in the cake. Get, oh, I blew up the cake. <laughs> There's no cake. What the hell is going on here? You ruined the birthday, you idiots. From the Uber dump band. Come on, man. Don't hurt me, okay? What? The Uber what band? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me throw me duck over there. Then I'm going to slip out here and just check this out. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm going to slip around. Whoa. Boom. Get in the cake. That's right. Get in there. Eat it all up, you filthy cretin. Happy birthday, bitch. And now everybody else. You ready, guys? Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, baby. And now I just got to disappear. See you later, suckers. Oh, crap. <laughs> Is the coast clear? I bloody hope so. That was so smooth. And just like that, we're back inside. And, uh, you know, we've got nothing to do with nothing. That's fine. Don't worry about the greeting right now. You're excused. Now that that's done, it looks like we've only got two options left for the other target. So let's go with on the house. And it looks like the green light bulb for on the house is somewhere down there. Ah, now this door might actually take me where I need to get to. Can I get in it, though? Oh, yes, I can. And it looks like what I'm looking for is just over there. Got a couple of people I need to sneak past first. One of them seems to be having a panic attack. The other playing Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> the mobile game taking the world by storm, baby. And this is the room. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. One pair of pants later. Now, <laughs> good luck explaining that one. G'day, Kenny boy. I'm here to let you know the Queen Suite is ready for you now. Oh, you brought a map this time. Yeah, I thought you needed it to find your tiny... So this is your penthouse. It's it, it's um, enormous because obviously you need all this for one person. Hardly the Borj al -Arab. I'm sorry, it's not the Borj al uh, See there? Yes. A smear. Oh, that's... um. That's... You don't want to know what that is. Now let's move on to the next room. Hopefully there's no white stains in here. We got... Oh, we got a bit of trash on the floor. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. Hold on. I'll pick him up. I'll pick him up. There we go. You know that is very rude, sir. Oh, sorry. I can drop him on the floor again. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Sir, you can't leave that here. Hold on, wait, what? Now, Ken, hold on, just this guy. Hey. You're gonna regret this. No, shut up. Trying to be stealthy out here. Oh, another white stain. Goodness gracious me, this time in the bathroom. This is very, very embarrassing. Now, the scene of the crime. Ah, you want to inspect the toilet, do you? Well, that's a great idea. Drink it all up, you dirty man. You better drink up the water in that bowl. Oh no, he went and drank it all. Well, it looks like my work here is done. See you later, Bangkok. It's been real. Real freaking testicularly tactically traumatizing as I was worried the entire time about banging my cock. True to form, I have managed to get one ranking lower than the lowest ranking in the entire world. World. G'day, you whimsical band of crashed bandicoots, and welcome back to Hitman 3. Now, today we're rejoining up-and-coming superstar assassin in the making, Agent 47, for his sixth day on the job, where he's headed to Coloradildo, America, to take down a total of four cheeky targets, one of whom even happens to be Michael Bloody Jackson. Now, it's important to remember that as a new ICA assassin, we have almost no equipment available to us, but the sky is the limit when it comes to challenges that are yet to be done. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Coloradildo, United States of America. 
America the happiest place on Earth. I mean, look at all the guns. What's not to be happy about? They can even launch nuclear warheads from inside their living room. Great. But even greater <laughs> is Cowboy 47 stealthing his way onto the scene like a true tactical testicle. Anyway, as I said, this is the most beautiful place on Earth, and I'm going to prove it today by beautifully killing that person, that person, that person, and also that person over there. But first, I'm going to hop through this window and collect the cheeky doodah that Diane... Oh, hold on. I haven't even talked about what I'm taking on this mission to get the job done. I'm taking my concrete bunny pistol, an uncapped lethal syringe, three cheeky coins to serve as a distraction, and as I said, a combat knife sent here by Diana because it is sharp, and me like sharp stabbing. Stabby, stabby. I also like my snake skin boots. Look at those. I've got a snake on me belt too. Check that out. Anyway, there are a slew of mission stories here. We could go on trigger Sean Rose's OCD by messing up his pencils, or alternatively, we could go on sabotage his Apple Watch. You see, according to all this stuff here, he's made a Link 4 smartwatch bomb that blows up when someone sends you an email, and he happens to be wearing that same watch. So let's do that. In order to make this mission story work, however, we're going to need to get over there to the second floor of that house, right where that light bulb is. Apparently, a hacker has a phone over there that can trigger the guy's watch. Very, very tactically testical, but nowhere near as tactically testical as my target over here. Sean Rose. Apparently he's Australian, but for some reason he sounds like Elon Musk. What a dreamboat. Anyway, I know from having come here many times before that on this table there is a little blueprint. Let's have a squizzy. So yes, it basically just says this is a blueprint. Now have a nice warm glass of shut the fuck. So with this newly found information, let's hop out the window and get done what we know we need to get done. Now, as it turns out, I know a couple of other satisfying things around here, like bricking this guy in the back of the head and then pushing his mate into the slurry pit. Look at that. And you two get in there as well. Now, in order to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm the ultimate tactical testicle, watch me stealth past this guy without getting spotted. Look at that. And now look at this. Axe in the head. Jiu-Jitsu. UFC. Obviously, we're going to feed the slurry pit because it has an insatiable appetite for human corpses. So as it turns out, there is a mission story in here that you can activate where she accidentally gets squished by one of these cars, which is hilarious. I just can't remember how to do it. Oh, yeah, it's got something to do with this. It's got to do with, like, ram the limo and take out the dry... Oh, they do a practice and it just all goes wrong. All right, so we got two dudes upstairs here. Um, I think I'll just end both of them. Nice and quietly. And if I'm not mistaken, what do we got here? Oh, malicious spec ops. Hello. Now I don't need to put the one with the hole in the face mask. <laughs> That's good. So what I think we're going to do is... Hold on. I'm getting sidetracked here. Let's <laughs> let's just stick to one thing at a time. Oh, 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 look, 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 look. Here's another one of our targets. Peeny Lope Gravy. No trespassing here. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm not, though. I work here, but I guess they're not going to just let me in through the front door. So I have an idea. I'm pretty sure that a hacker comes down here at some point and I can just steal his clothes. Oh, here he comes now. Eminem in the flesh. So what we're gonna do is create a little bit of a distraction with a coin. Then we'll move over to this bush and we'll wait. So as soon as he gets over there to pick up that coin... Shazam! I'm starting to feel like I'm a rap god, rap god. Anyway, if everything goes according to plan, this new disguise should afford me access to where I need to get to, which is uh, upstairs there. All right, there it is. Is this door open? Of course it's not. It's not going to stop me, though. Out I go onto the roof thingy and just watch me stealth. Oh, what are you doing oh, here? Sorry, I got lost. I'm looking for the toilet. Sorry, let me just jump back inside. <laughs> Sorry, mate. All right, let's try through here. Okay, the bathroom. This is the bathroom. What about here? Okay, all right. All right, we're doing well. Hey. We're, oh, sorry, mate. All right, let's sneak back in now. He's not looking. Oh, he's sitting at his desk. Crap. Where's his... Where, what am I looking for? What's that? Explosive watch battery. <laughs> I'll just pinch it from under his nose. He'll never notice. Then I need to find the hacker's phone. All right. Which hacker is this? Should be around here somewhere. We got a phone on a table. Oh, here we go. Look, this is what we're looking Bro, for. Who are you, man? Do I oh, know shit. you? Oh, how did that guy not see? <laughs> oh, mate. Well, that's fine. In all this chaos, maybe... Oh, there we go. The door's unlocked. Great. So in all this chaos, I'll just go and sabotage old mate's watch. Don't look this way, old mate. Insert battery. Let me just slip it in there. All right. And now let's roll. I'm out the door. Here I go. And none the wiser. Then I just walk out like the true tactical testicle that I am. Except for the fact <laughs> that there's like 50 dudes and they all know that I'm sus. So now that that kill's been set up, let's head over here and get ourselves a new disguise 
guys to set up the next one. Oh, look at this guy. What's going on, mate? You're an old fella. Can I poison your plate of food? Will you mind? <laughs> look, it's going to be extra tasty. <laughs> Just eat it, mate. So what we're looking for is uh, a disguise that I believe is hidden inside of this shed. See, that guy, he's, he broke his dick, so he can't do the stuff that requires a dick. We just throw a dollar on the toilet floor. I should get him in here. Not in the mood for this right now. Now I believe that opens up access to another mission. A battering ram has injured one of the strike team. Obviously his dick. So I'm going to infiltrate the strike team, posing as that guy. And um, we'll see if we can orchestrate a horrific accident <laughs> that results in the death of one of our targets in the most hilarious way possible. Hey lady, I'm back. Any broken bones? Just me, dick. All right, people. Let's get to it. No, you get to it, you stupid idiot. What are we even doing? What is this stu- Oh, hold on. Yeah, this is the battering ram. All right, so we'll just wait for her to get right in front of this, and then we'll just nail her in the middle of it. Oh, look, there's old mate. We could blow them both up. Oh, what the hell? So, like, literally, I could send him an email, and he'll be like, Oh, you're going to check my email. Oh, let me have a look. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> What an idiot. Why would you check your own email, mate, when you got the watch that you, you know, you organized to blow up your stupid Australian twit? That's fine, though. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're gonna, we're doing other stuff. Hold on. What am I meant to do, you idiot? What am I doing? Ah, wait, wait. Is that what was, oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? What is this? Oh, crowbar. All right. I think I need Burgess. to, oh, hold on. Wait. What did I say? I don't know. Grab a gun. Get in position. I have a gun. Cut him up and feed him to the pigs. Eliminate the driver, okay. Kill the driver. And then the uh, then, then other crash test dummy. And then I kill the last crash. Alright, all the crash test dummies are dead. What are we doing now? Retrieve the documents. Where where are they? Oh, here we go. Let me just bust in. Oh, give me the documents, mate. Where are they? Yeah, I got them. I got the documents. What are we even doing? What is this? I'm confused. Oh, hold on. And then I'll just press this button over here, I'm pretty sure. And then Shazam! <laughs> And then, <laughs> he couldn't resist. <laughs> he couldn't resist. Oh, dear. That's great. Well, let's get out of here. So, now that that's done, we've got Peeny Lope Gravy and we've got Michael Jackson. Now, like a true tactical testicle, I'll pop that guy in the head and his mate. Then I'll stuff him in this box. Check this out. Looks super stealthy. Boom, 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 boom. In through the window. And then, as it turns out, we found a jackpot. Look at this. Drugs everywhere. Oh, hallucinogenic drugs. Plot twist. I took some before I arrived on this mission. Well, let's sabotage this gas canister. This will be fun. Da, 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 my favorite thing to do. And we'll grab this key. And oh, look at this. This is Old Bates' favorite TV show. This is what he likes to watch when he's um, cooking meth. Now, if I sneak down to the bait... Oh, sorry. Am I not allowed in here? Wow, I'm not allowed anywhere. Maybe if I take some of these clothes. Hold on, let me just borrow these clothes. Swiggity swirty reporting for duty. I need to go down to the basement, brother. Oh, see, there's that guy. That's the dude that's on the TV. There's a little bit of an interrogation going on down here. Let me just unlock the basement with my key. And then, I don't really know what's happening here. What is happening here? Where's he going? He's going out. And he's two guards going down. And then I could administer an overdose. Should I do that? Or I'll do that. How's that? Is that good? It sounds like you're having a good time at least. What are you listening to over here? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's perfect music to die to. <laughs> Oh, he's coming back. Crap. You are not alone. I'm hiding in here too. Only one target left to take care of. There you go. On. Just uh, having a look at this mission story. What's this? G private journal. Ooh. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but could you please get the F out? That's very rude. Can you get the F out so I can poison this bottle? And we done. Infiltrate. Oh, the tornado shelter. I kind of already infiltrated that, but I guess I'll head back and infiltrate it again. And just like that, butter bing, but oh. Sean Rose's face. Oh, get out of it. Sean Rose is pretty far from here, mate. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is ass. How am I going to get in there? I can't even remember. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Megalovania intensify style. Where, where is it even? Yeah, here we go. Start 3D printer. What am I printing? Oh, the dude's face. Yeah, that'll work. Wow, that's creepy as hell. <laughs> I'll take it. Thanks. Can I slap it on? I want to put it on. We've got a man responsible for multiple casualties. Do we? Do we really? Is that is that what is, is happening here? Well, do something about it. Come on. Whee! Oh, right into the crosshairs, mate. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Oh, they're all they're all closing in on me. It's fine though. I'm pretty good shot. I mean, I've done this once or twice before. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, they're trying to flank over here. Come on, boys. Flank this. Yeah. Doing well. We're doing well. I think we've, we, you know, we've nearly, you know, Colorado's nearly population zero. All right, looks like we got one in this room as well. 
There we go. I don't know how this just suddenly became into a kill everyone <laughs> challenge video. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this happened. It escalated quickly. Still got a couple of dudes patrolling the perimeter. And we done. Life is so full of surprises. One minute we were playing like a tactical testicle. The next minute it turned into a kill everybody challenge. Anyway, as the last remaining survivor, you know, you just hang tight in there. You'll be right. And now just slap me old 3D printed face on the scanner. And uh, <laughs> I think we should be good to go. Da 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 da. See you later, cholera dildo. It's been real. Real freaking. And once again, I somehow managed to secure one place worse than the worst place in the entire world. Hey, at least I'm consistent. G'day, everybody, and welcome back to Hitman 3. Now, today we rejoin up-and-coming superstar assassin Agent 47 for his seventh and final day on the job, before receiving his promotion and consequently, the end of all seven Hitman 2016 levels. Today's mission, however, presents a uniquely interesting and exciting challenge as we arrive at the secret Hokkaido <laughs> enlargement facility, full commando in nothing but a dressing gown. And as for our two targets, Yumi Mumi Zumi and Erect Soda, the possibilities are endless. And again, Whilst we may now be a freshman in the assassination industry with very little in the way of cheeky toys to get the job done, mission stories and challenges are aplenty. Now, as for my starting weapon, I'm bringing absolutely nothing. I'm also bringing no gear whatsoever, and I'm smuggling nothing because I can smuggle nothing. As for my starting location, I'm starting on my bed because, again, I have no other options at my disposal. Finally, I'll be rocking up in a yellow dressing gown, hanging out and everything. And here we are, beautiful, beautiful Hokkaido. I don't know how they built this place, but I'm sure glad they did. I've done some research and I'm confident in saying that there is no other facility worldwide that can give you a bigger than this place can. And with that, we rejoin me laying on my deathbed. Woe is me, it is so sad to be dying on my bed, but at least I'm staying right next door to a real cowboy. Lucky me, but first to head into the bathroom and grab those scissors. Then to run back out on the balcony and see if I can throw these scissors across. Look at this. Very, very tactically testicle. Actually, come to think of it, I would not mind becoming a cowboy. Just to shimmy my way across here. Don't look down, though. Oh, who gives a sh- I've got to say, though, the view from up here is absolutely beautiful. Let's just stop for a moment and take it all in. Look at that. What a stunning place this is. Goodness me. Am I wearing underpants? <laughs> I wonder if I am. <laughs> it must be chilly. Anyway, this guy was going to die regardless. Look at that. What a clown. Anyway, what are we going over here? Patient journal. All right, let me learn a little bit about myself. All right, so that's me, apparently, absolutely dashing fellow. Oh my gosh, and he's got a statue of himself on his table. <laughs> what a... And a cannoli. He brought a cannoli to Hokkaido. That's great. Anyway, how you going, everyone? Can I get my greeting, please? Thank you very much. You've avoided a terrible catastrophe. The people in Thailand just didn't get it. Oh, hey, mate. Hey, go on. You're part of the mission story. Now, who is this chap? Hold on a second. Stop there, mate. What do you got around your neck? HK, is that Helmet Kruger? Oh, he's going for the full Helmet Kruger look. Oh, he's trying to look like Helmet Kruger, which means he's actually trying to look like me because Helmet Kruger and I are, for some reason, identical twins. Speaking of which, let's have a look at our mission stories and decide what we're doing today. I reckon for the yuck as a lady, we'll disguise ourselves as the yoga guy and then just spart and kick her off the edge of the building because it's hilarious. And for erect sodas, I reckon I'll become a head surgeon and just perform the surgery myself. Don't worry, I'm a professional, just not at surgery. So I guess we better head over here and grab ourselves the yoga instructor's disguise where he's over here in the hot spring. Hello everybody, I am... Oh. Hello, hello, thank you for the greeting. You've avoided another tremendously... Ca oh, hello, target. Tremendously catastrophic catastrophe of calamitous proportions. So this is where it's going to take place. This here is the, uh, the yoga schedule. Let's have a squiz. All right, this is a schedule showing the yoga lessons for the day. Well, I better go get myself a yoga instructor outfit. All right, hold on a second. This door appears to be locked. And the sauna. I forgot about this. Well, this is a secret kill opportunity and an opportunity to reuse a very successful successful thumbnail that, <laughs> that I used in another video a couple of years ago. Change of plans, everybody. Change of plans. And where am I going to find myself a staff disguise? Hello, security office. Oh, baby. Oh, hold on. He's coming out the door. Okay, that's great. Great timing. Thanks, old mate. I'll just slip in here. Uh, excuse me. No, what excuse you. you? With me? Ah. Oh, that's what you said. Sorry. I, yeah, you said excuse me. Sorry. I got a bit confused. Heat of the moment. And just like that, I am now Bionic Commando. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's who I am. What's that doing here? 
Oh, it's mine. Get out. It's mine. Get out of it. Mate, that's my gun, you stupid dickhead. <laughs> anyway, now that I've completely infiltrated the security office. um, Oh, yeah, let me get me nightstick. And now that I've done that. Who oh, are you? Nobody. Mate, I will nightstick you in the face. I'm warning you. What are you <laughs> anyway, now that that's done, let's head back into the sauna room and see if we can't slip into the back. Ah, yes. Now we can open it. Very, very good. So, this is where great things happen. But I need a wrench. Now, admittedly, I don't really remember where a wrench is around here. But there's got to be one down... Hold on. Isn't there? Maybe there's one out here. Let's go out and have a look. Yeah, g'day, Raiden. You got a wrench around here? I'm looking for a wrench, mate. Well, we got Raiden's toolbox, but it's only got a hammer. That's that's inconvenient. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Maybe down here next to the old snow ski machine things. Hey, everybody. We got any wrenches down here by any chance? Another hammer? I don't need another hammer. I need a wrench. What about now? All right, there we go. We got ourselves a wrench finally fantastic all right here we are ladies and gentlemen back at the sauna getting ready to do a little bit of maintenance work on this busted pipe let me just turn off the cold water there we go that'll make it nice and steamy and then we'll crank this up we'll turn it up to like a million degrees all right boys sauna time's over everybody get out good man good man you're very resilient though like i'm literally dying here but you guys seem to be in fairly good health especially you you tough <laughs> oh no <laughs> i stayed in that sauna a little bit too long all right well this is a bit weird she's just chilling down there i thought for some reason she'd be eager to head over here and have a 300 degree sauna but i guess i can wait over here till she arrives sorry boys i'll just squeeze in in the middle here there we go all right let's do it sorry man but you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable now okay how do you think i feel sandwiched in between these two dongs let's just plop a pistol right here on the floor for the security guard to pick up excuse me my good man there is a weapon on the floor i think you should pick it up it looks a little bit dang oh you're not picking it up all right then bro whatever sir you dropped something yeah, it's yours bro pick it up oh everyone's leaving oh all right well that's that's great let me just block the door <laughs> there we go enjoy your sauna let me out right now let me out <gasps> Anyway, looking around. Oh, there we go. I didn't even know why I was looking for this guy. It's not like he moves around the map at all. Let's head over there and deal with the wrecked soda. I wonder, are you sorry, guys sorry, gonna... I can't let you through. You're not gonna let me through, are you for real, bro? That's right. You need to leave the area. Why are you shouting at me? Oh, body found. Oh. Well, mate, hold on. Can I lock this guy in there as well? Hurry up, 47. <laughs> Maybe we can lock them both in. Go, go, go. All right, mate. You get it as well. Enjoy the sauna. How did that go? Oh. <laughs> What a strange scene this would be to find. Anyway, if we're going to take down Mr. Soda, we're going to need to get ourselves a head surgeon disguise. Um, there should be one around here somewhere. So even though I don't have the little mini map up, um, I'm trespassing right now. So everybody wants to kill me. But that's fine. I think, yep, there's a window right here. Perfection. I'll jump out. And now I, I, I don't even know if I'm trespassing anymore. Am I? All right. So there's the mini map. Apparently I am. That's problematic. Let me see if maybe if I just run past these guys. Am I still trespassing here? No, nah, I'm not. Now, we're going to need to take down that helicopter pilot. Let's just wait for him to get down here. Oh, see, there's his surgeon. That's, you know, that's what we need. Look, 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 look. He's, he's getting drugs off the helicopter pilot. Can you believe it? Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but let me see if I can make a little bit of noise. Did he hear that from up there? Oh, don't tell me you're telling Raiden to go and investigate. You investigate, you dickhead. Mate, you just you need to piss off. You're ruining everything. Go toboggan down that hill on your hat. Oh, there he goes. He actually did toboggan down the hill on his hat. <laughs> That's cool. You know, I actually wouldn't mind this outfit. Look at that. What a stud. Oh, shite. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I, I dealt with the, the you know, the, 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 it's fine. Everything's fine. All right, so let's just drop all of these weapons. They're a little bit of a giveaway. And now nobody knows that I'm not the head surgeon. Look at that. Crisis completely averted. Body hidden. Look at that. Beautiful. Now all that's left to do is to head in here completely undetected. Nobody knows anything's gone on today. And I'll head in here and now I'll get ready to perform surgery. This is great. So we go in here. We operate as the chief surgeon. We put the old hands in the bucket hole things and then... 
What do we do? Drain the blood, inject the blood, rip out the everything. Let's do the rip out the everything. What does this do? Oh, then we, oh, we stab it in there and then we suck out all the juice. And look at that, we've saved him. Fantastic. The operation was a success, but the patient died. Anyway, now that we've done this and we've done it with so much style and finesse, it's time to leave. That's right, it's the end of Agent 47's first week on the job. Well done, everybody. Excuse me. Hey, you first week on the job. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a pat on the back and have a nice warm glass of shut it off. And just like that, playing like an absolute maniac through seven levels for the very first time has brought us to level 39. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. We also managed to get the worst score in the world again. We're very, very consistent with this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the beginning of the next series where we take on the Hitman 2 level starting at Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. See you then.